there's only one true church. Anyone who preaches another gospel is an anti-Christ. You're being lied to. The Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. Is it possible that everybody can be right? Hi, YouTubers. Now, I've always wanted to say that, as well as the fact that I've always wanted to make a YouTube series on a subject of interest. Now, I've called this series Christian Diversity, a contemporary observation, and that's simply what it is. I have compiled in my research many, many video clips of people who would themselves profess to be Christians who are arguing a particular point which is contrary to what some other Christian believer is saying somewhere else in the world. And I wanted to sort of do uh, an easily accessible, informative series demonstrating Christian diversity. So what is the Christian church that we see today in the 21st century? How can it be broken down? Take a look at these videos. Why in the world are there so many different churches with so many different practices and so many different belief systems? Is it possible that everybody can be right? I was asked if all denominations in Christianity are the same. The simple answer is no. Why are there so many denominations? Do you know there are over 41,000 denominations? There are a lot of denominations. We know that the first thousand years there was one church, it was called the Catholic Church. We've got Catholics, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Church of Christ. And then there was the split at the end of the first millennium. We had the Orthodox, East and West. Then 500 years later, we have Luther and his protest. Three churches. You know, you could go down the list and, and continue forever almost, it seems like. And then, from Luther's protest onwards, 33,000 new denominations. Baptist Church, Methodist Church, and Catholic Church, and Episcopalian Church, and Pres Presbyterian Church, and Pentecostal Church. Help us, Jesus. We got too many denominations, and more just keep on coming out. Now, there's reasons historically for why Protestants have split off into so many denominations, as opposed to Catholics who keep uh, their divisions within one major denomination and Eastern Orthodox keep their divisions into one major organization. Most of the video clips that you're going to find in this series are actually debates between various Protestants, although there are some serious clashes, of course, between Protestants, Catholics and Protestants and Eastern Orthodox. Let's look at some more clips. Over the centuries, both the Bible and Christ's message have been interpreted in many different ways and disagreement over the nature of the scriptures has led to endless division and confusion among Jesus' followers. And even within those denominations, there are factions within each one, liberal, conservative. They, this group believes in everything except this one thing, and so they have their own denomination. And shouldn't we, says the world, and some of Christianity, just set aside our differences and love one another, and just drink the same Jesus juice, and, and just... Agree to disagree in order for faith. No. The fact that there are so many Christian denominations really is an expression of God's grace. Denominations exist for two reasons. The first is the will of the devil and that of wicked men uh, who don't want to hear God's word purely taught but desire to warp it for their own sinful reasons. The word is what causes the division. Jesus causes the division. The truth is, we're all the same. The denominations don't matter. They are a man-made construct. Divisions of the faith to make the believers feel more comfortable in his or her surroundings. There are differences in doctrine, and the differences in doctrine are vitally important. Jesus takes the divisions upon himself and says, I didn't come to bring peace, but the sword. We need to heed the warnings of the Bible and we need to understand that God has condemned religious division, man-made teachings, and all denominationalism. The most important question would be then, what denomination is right? I'm trying to find out what the heck is going on here. What is the right church? So we've seen the breakdown of the church and we see that there's so many denominations. What is the one true church? Clearly, Either the Bible is being misunderstood by many, many Christian followers, or the Bible itself isn't as coherent as once had thought. If you went to Amazon.com and typed in two views, three views, four views, or even five views, you'd likely come across a series of Christian books, all with different views opposing each other. Books on who runs the church, remarriage and divorce, three views on creation and evolution, four views on the historical Adam, four views on hell, 
Views on the Sabbath, Science and Christianity, Four Views, Four Views on the End Times, Four Christian Views of War, Five Views on Apologetics, Five Views on Biblical Inerrancy, Two on Homosexuality, Five on Sanctification, Four Views on the Miraculous Gifts, Four Views on Women in Ministry, Four Views on Divine Providence, and Four Views on Free Will. I think that in all humility, when you put views like I've put in this video series together and you see the Christian diversity and that people go back to the Bible again for their views and they argue that we follow the Bible, the Bible says, particularly Protestant fundamentalists, I'm not sure that you can actually do that when you see that the passionate beliefs and what the Bible says are so diverse. And this is something for all of us to ponder. I hope you found this first episode of Christian Diversity interesting and I hope you follow the series throughout. The next video will be discussing the issues of controversy between Catholics and Protestants. Thank you for watching.